So Jacob, um, one of the things that I've been wondering, because I'm someone that doesn't buy uh, books that, that much, and um, one of the things I was wondering is, do I only have to buy books on Amazon because, or in, in stores? Um, because personally, the, well, one of the reasons I choose Amazon is because of the free shipping or cheap shipping prices, and sometimes you can get the book on sale at a good deal. So is there is there anywhere else you can buy books besides in person or on Amazon? Well, um, obviously there are places like the library or free online libraries like Libby or Overdrive, but not all the time will you want to have a book digitally. I get that. Um, there's some benefits to it, like places like Lagos. Lagos has pretty much every single Christian book that you could think of and you can purchase it on the Lagos software and it's in your library and it's actually really, really cool because you can have uh, links, active links, cross references, and it it's pretty, you know, in depth. But what I would say is obviously nothing beats, a, in my opinion, a hard copy or a paperback, right? And I personally believe that uh, it's also really nice to be able to mark those up, especially if they're religious uh, theology and, you know, just Christian, Christian books, right? And so, um, and I, I'm, I'm hope, hoping that, you know, you won't be getting rid of at least some of the groundbreaking books that you decide to purchase, you know, from these places. So hopefully um, you're able to, you know, keep these for life. But um, first, I would say, obviously, Amazon is, you know, a place that's popular. Um, it makes sense. Amazon does have Prime. Most of us have Prime and it's, it's just really convenient, right? But there are actually other websites that have um, the same books, uh, possibly for cheaper. And so I'd like to give them, have you guys give them a shot if you're interested. Okay, starting off. So thrift books. Um, I I would say that uh, that's a, a good place to to start off. Um, they they actually advertise the different prices and the condition of the book that you're ordering. Um, and they actually do business through eBay as well. So you actually might be and if you go to eBay, you might end up getting a thrift books book and you might not even know it. But thrift books um, really cool because you can uh, put ten dollars of items in your cart and you already have free shipping instead of, you know, other companies that wait till like fifty dollars and you get free shipping, you know. So that is really cool. Usually if you just want to purchase one book, it's like ninety nine cents for, uh, you know, uh, shipping that's usually what I've encountered so I don't exactly know out of state but or I mean out of um, uh, con the country but you know uh, it's really good then eBay eBay is the place of all places for buying um, books in my opinion you know there's you can literally find whatever price you're willing to pay for it you can probably find it um, I have I've definitely searched for many books that I wanted to be able to find and I got them easily on eBay. Sometimes you have to say no because the price is not what you're wanting. And then other times, boom, new price, something's awesome. I would say I would recommend you searching in the buy now and the free shipping category. That's usually my favorite just because the if you have it to where you still have, you know, the shipping included, sometimes in my opinion, you know, it's just not worth it. So the free shipping and just buy it now. But I understand if you want to also look for other uh, deals. Also, you know, keep in mind the ones that um, show pictures of the book are probably going to be the more, you know, legitimate when it comes to what you're actually you see you're actually going to get. So that's just my personal um, takeaway from that, uh, from my years of experience with eBay. Um, next, uh, this one's a newer, actually, uh, book provider service, but the company has been around for a while when it comes to selling books, right? Uh, so, Goodwill. They actually have a goodwillbooks.com, and it's actually advertised in their stores right now. So, you might have seen that, and you're like, ah, I don't want to check it out. But actually, it's, um, it's a separate stock from what's actually in their stores. So, for instance, I actually bought some books online that were apparently... Um, being shipped from the the city that I live in right now, but they actually uh, were not on in the stock at that location. I had actually checked just in case they were going to charge um, more in per or uh, online than in person, and they they weren't. They were 
keeping it um, in a separate pile to make sure that that was going to the online um, website, which was really cool. And I actually got some really good deals. Um, with that, though, you, you might get some markings. I did uh, receive a few books with some markings on it, but it was worth it, especially when it comes to price. So that's just my my opinion there. Um, moving on. Uh, I have heard of this one that is it's supposedly really, really good. Abe books. Um, I have I have actually kind of done some price comparisons and they do, they have free shipping options but they also don't but regardless <laughs> a books has some of the best prices I've seen and especially when it comes to shipping it's really cheap so I would honestly just if you're gonna consider goodwill books or um, you know eBay or thrift books or Amazon also look at um, a books because they might have better prices and you're not even realizing it then next if you're looking for a kind of newer book right one that just came out and you're trying to keep your you have your eyes on you're like okay i'm gonna buy it christianbooks.com they always have sales okay especially uh during kind of the holidays but it seems like they have a sale for almost every occasion right right now they are having a bible sale and i've been really tempted to get some bibles there just because of how nice the sale is but christian books they have all the the you know the uh the books that you could think of when it comes to christian books and the resources there so i would check them out uh, they have deals they have promo codes all that okay i had mentioned logos before but i would just say logos i have started to use logos and i absolutely have fallen in love with it i'm i have decided that i'm probably going to start getting my commentaries and some other things that are a little bit more expensive to buy in person i'm going to buy them on line on logos then uh, i have used this service um and i really really like it, it uh, i actually ordered through the gospel coalition these books but i i the company that provides them is a company by the name of 10 of those and that is um 10 as in like uh the numbers you know the uh so that's how you would spell it if you want to find it but i'm guessing if you searched up 10 ten of those you would find it as well but just letting you guys know you know um, but yeah, that service, they, they have sales like crazy. I mean, they, their advertisement on the pamphlet that I had received with my order was that they have actually year long sales. And so that's really cool. And, um, I just, I was, I'm hoping that this is kind of, or as, as a community here and, you know, helping you, you guys through kind of like buying books and everything. I mean, I've had my fair share of like paying way too much for books. Um, I'm just giving giving you all the examples. I mean, in my personal opinion, don't just buy it from Amazon right away. So see if there's other better deals out there. But I understand if you want to get it fresh and new. But yeah, look at all of your options. You know, stay stay uh, researching everything. And um, yeah, uh, I think that closes out this this video. What do you say? What do you say, Mike? Thanks, Jake, for letting me know and maybe helping some of you guys figure out um, where to buy your books and especially your 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 Christian books that you're you're looking for. So, yeah. Yeah. See you guys in the next one.